Now, our weather is something that uh, we're getting serious about tonight. Yeah, it certainly is. We had severe weather last night in parts of green country, including parts of the Tulsa metro. And we've got another threat for severe weather later tonight as well. Had a couple of severe storms earlier this afternoon. Those have since diminished, but we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning for parts of southeast Kansas that we're going to get a look at here in just a second. But here's that risk as we go into the overnight hours. Again, damaging wind threat 60 to 70 miles per hour. Hail possibly up to about two inch in diameter. We did have a two inch diameter hail report just north of Pawhuska this afternoon with one of those earlier severe thunderstorm warnings. Tornado threat, don't think we'll have to worry about that, thankfully, this evening. But again, still some strong storms out there that could be enough to blow a few things around when you get those 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Right now, pretty quiet in northeast Oklahoma. Let's go out here to the west first. We've got a new severe thunderstorm warning for this cell. This is going to continue to work its way. This is out near Cherokee at the moment. That's moving off to the east northeast. We'll watch this as it approaches I-35. And we've also got a severe thunderstorm warning here in southeast Kansas. By the way, this does include now parts of uh, areas here into southeast Kansas, as mentioned, Labette County and into Montgomery County under a severe thunderstorm warning for mainly some potentially strong winds out of this 60 to 70 miles per hour. That's pushing off to the south and east. So as that holds together, we'll have to watch downstream here, Craig County into Ottawa County for this particular storm to move in your direction here, probably over the next hour or two. And we do have a severe thunderstorm watch that does include north Northern Oklahoma and here in northeast Oklahoma until 11 o'clock tonight. A lot of the data suggests that we'll probably see more storms into the overnight hour, so it's very possible that we'll need another severe thunderstorm watch overnight tonight through the early morning hours tomorrow for the potential for more storms again later on tonight. So here we are through midnight. I'm going to start to bump up that rain chance, especially north of Highway 412 through midnight. Right now, again, it's fairly quiet, but we'll watch that coverage gradually increase. And then watch what happens past midnight through the early morning hours. That coverage becomes much more widespread, so we fully expect those storm chances to get higher after sunset tonight through early tomorrow morning. Right now, though, things are quiet as we look here from downtown on the Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. Our temperature at 96 right now in Tulsa hit 97 for the high today. Heat index, though, hit 115 this afternoon. It was hot and humid. Very similar for tomorrow. Another hot and humid day. Any storms tomorrow morning will be winding down pretty quickly, so drying out in the morning hours. I don't think we'll have to worry about storms tomorrow. Just a lot of sun and heat and humidity. Temperatures up into the 90s, but as mentioned, it's going to feel hotter. We have excessive heat warnings and heat advisories in effect again for tomorrow. Another hot and humid day on Sunday. Keeping a chance of a shower storm in the forecast on Sunday. And again, that Saturday chance will be early in the day. And then as we go into next week, still some morning storm chances Monday and and Tuesday, and notice those temperatures coming down a bit, but then we'll heat it right back up into next weekend.